pulling out the cylinder head. Oh, don't forget to take the dowel pins out. They will come out naturally with the cylinder head, but you can just take them out ahead of time, ease the restriction. Again, these are all 10 millimeter dowel pins, so uh, you can't really mix them up. They're all the same. And now we're going to go ahead and start pulling them out. Again, keep your chain and everything nice and secure. Okay, you can even push back a little bit of your pistons from within. That way, you just try to remove, and there it goes. There's your pistons here. And we're just trying to, see this was great about uh, the tie strap. It doesn't just get in the way, it actually helps. Like, oh, this one came out with it. That's a gasket that was on there previously. So it wouldn't matter because we're changing it to a 61 millimeter gasket and these ones are the stock ones. They're about 57.8 millimeters. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna throw that uh, away. And the piston's head, these, you can see how the rings are set. There's a total of four rings. There's a medium thickness, a thicker ring in the middle, and then there's two thin rings that are the same size with a kind of a squiggly uh, ring. And we're gonna build the same way for our new forged piston Tata head right here. So here we go. So now in order to remove this one, there's gonna be two kind of, I call them G clips. Sometimes they have a little, they look like a G clip. You'll see when I take it out shortly. And there's the other side of it as well. There is, you're gonna take two of them out. So that's where our pliers come in. I call these vice grips last time. Uh, they're pliers. So we're gonna go ahead and See, so grab it right there, and then just kind of give it a good yank out. They should come out. There we go. Oh, yeah, and they do spring, so there's only two of them.